What do you do, me? I'm Morgan. It's your girl Bianca Shanice, and I'm back with a new video. If you're new here, hello, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Also, please don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. I will be answering some questions that I frequently get asked often. And if this is something you would like to see, please stay tuned and keep on watching. So I have some questions. I'm going to jump into how many locks I have. Do I ever think about cutting my hair? Things of that sort. We're going to dive into some good old questions for today's video. So the first question is, do I miss my loose natural hair? Sometimes I do miss my loose natural hair. I get the option to pick and choose different hairstyles that I want to do. Also, I can have the options of wearing braids, sew-ins, wigs, all those type of things. But I will say I can still have those options with my locks as well. It really haven't been a, a big deal, but it is times where I be like, bruh. I miss my loose natural hair. I also miss doing like my wash and goes, my slip back ponytails. I just miss like doing some of those things sometimes. Sometimes I can't achieve certain styles that I do with my loose natural hair that I do with my locks. But as you can see, I have this cute little hairstyle. The second question is, what products do I use on my locks? The products I use on my locks is very, very simple. I use oils, I use edge control, and I also use jam. I also have a spray bottle where I have water and oils in it. This is the first product that I'm gonna show you that I like to use on my hair. And this is just the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Scalp Refresh Invigorating Leave-In Conditioner for dry scalp and protective styles. Pure Honey Conditioning Aloe Cooling Mint. And it got no sulfate, mineral oil, silicone, petroleum, or drying alcohol. So I like to spray some of this on my hair from time to time. And I go back and forth between edge control. I'm not really like dedicated to a certain edge control right now. I just try to find me a good one that doesn't flake up too bad. To be honest, I feel like all of them gonna kind of have like that white cast. If not, and if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Please drop some good edge control in the comments down below so I can try them out. But the one I'm using now is this Bellatique Professional Maximum Hold Edge Braid and Lock. For it not to give me that white cast, I like to use Jam Shine, which I'm going to show y'all in a few. Jam Shine, or I'll put like a little bit of oil on top of it so it doesn't like give me that white cast. And it works pretty well. It holds pretty well too. You put it on and you put like a little scarf on your hair and you'll be good to go. So this is the one I like to use. Also like using, I use this to retwist my locks. I used to use the, what is it called? I used to use the, I can't think of, it's another, <coughs> I'll probably have to pop a picture up cause I can't remember the name of it. Shine and Jam. I like it. I mean, it works pretty good for my hair. I'm not against it. Sometimes I go back and forth with, you know, just this and some oils, but I use this from time to time as well. Then here we have my mister, and it just have water and oils in it. I just, you know, spray my hair and, you know, keep it going. For oils, I go back and forth with different brands, but here lately I like to, um, use this brand here they have a whole bunch of them they like they're very cheap they're very affordable they're very affordable um i have the black character oil i also have had the peppermint kind the tea tree the tea tree oil coconut oil argan oil they got all different kinds so i go back and forth with using that brand but here lately i also been using this meal um i love the um i love the little applicator like how yeah i like it it's it's giving very fancy oil like you want to be fancy when you moisturizing your locks so that's what i get that's how i feel when i use this little stopper thing look it done got on my hand the third question is what's the longest i've been without a retwist 
do y'all really want to know what's the longest I've been without a retwist? And it may not be intense for you, but for me, that has six months. I have been six months without a retwist. That's the longest I've ever been. And I promise you, you all, hold me accountable. I done told a few family and friends, if I ever say it's been a certain amount of months since I had a retwist, y'all be like, uh-uh. Go ahead and get you a retwist because, baby, when it was time for me to get one, you know, to try to section out my parts and... Because, you know, it was matted up a little bit, stuck together. It hurt. I ain't gonna lie, it hurt. And I'm not the person who got to have neat, neat parts, but just to, you know, kind of clean them up a little bit, that hurt, baby. So the longest I have been was six months. I like to try to go two to three months. Normally I used to go like three months, but I think I'm going to try to do it the two month mark. I don't know, we'll see, depending on my hair, my, my locks at the time. But I have been six months and yeah, that was long enough. That was long enough. Well, the next question was how often do I get retwists? I answered that for you. I try to go to two to three months, so I didn't answer that. How many locks do I have? So, for this portion of the video, I'm going to let y'all watch this little clip that I got here. And then after y'all get finished watching that, y'all come on back. Y'all come on back, okay? What to do, gang? So, this is the lock count portion of the video. I already have a lock count video up on my channel. And I think the last I recall I had 70 or 72 locks. I'm not sure but I did combine a few and so we're just gonna do another lock count video you know y'all really show my lock count video some love so why not incorporate another one you know just to be sure so I guess I will section it off So it's 16 in this little section. 17, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Wait a minute. <laughs> Holla. What? Combine four, I thought. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the other video to see the accuracy of how many I had is the video. How many do you think I have? 50, 60, 80, 100. How many I think I have? Yeah. It was actually 72. Oh, yeah, okay, so that does make sense because I had four individual locks that I combined into two. So 72 subtract two make 70. Okay, not a big difference, but okay, yeah. So now I have 70 locks instead of 72. <laughs> but okay, so I was just like, girl, what? I'm thinking that I already had 70 locks, but I actually had 72. Now I have 70.
now that y'all are back, can you guys believe I have 70 locks now? I know, I know, I know. It's not a big difference. <laughs> it was 72 at one point, but now it's just 70. I know, I know. Not too much of a difference. I know. The next question we have, have I ever thought about cutting my locks or will I comb them out? Yes. And when I say this has been recently, when I first color my hair like this brown color after I did that my jaw still didn't have no retwist at that time so I was just trying to like style it in a way that my hair look a little bit more presentable and as I was you know going through those motions realizing my hair has grew y'all I'm like I'm really thinking about cutting my hair but I also was on my cycle at that time or getting ready to be on my cycle at that time. So I don't know if those emotions was playing a part of me, you know, cutting my hair. But I have been at a point where I'm like, yeah, I'm wanting to cut my hair off. And then sometimes I have thought about like combing them out. But I think if I would do it early on, if I had ever had that feeling like, you know what, I'm done. I probably would comb them out. But if I have kept my hair, if I ever get to a point where I kept my locks for like 10 plus years, I think I'll just go ahead and cut them off because it's like, girl, just cut them off. And I just brought me a little nice, cute, short cut. But if I do it early on, I probably just comb them out, you know, because it's going to be a point in time where I'm, I want to cut them off and I probably want to go for it. I always wanted the short, you know, look shortcut look so I don't know I don't know y'all so the next question is do I ever get bored or over them so I guess that kind of plays a part into one of the previous questions I asked I asked and answered most definitely I do get bored with them sometimes I'm not good with styling locks right now I have go-to styles I kind of get over my go-to styles and sometimes I just be like I'm just over it and if I didn't really have to go out to work frequently or be on the camera for you all all the time, um, I probably really wouldn't care. But I have gotten to the point where I'm more bold and confident with the no retwist for a few months. Because I did it. Like, it ain't like I have, haven't done it. I have, did, I have did it before. But sometimes I just be like, bruh, <laughs> I don't feel pretty. I know, I know, I know. And it's easier said than done. Some people probably is, you know, very at that point. But sometimes I just be feeling like I just don't look look like my I ain't gonna say look the part. I don't look like myself. Cause I I'm the type of person who always made sure my hair was done. Even if I didn't actually go get it professionally done, I was always good with, you know, doing something to my hair. So I do feel like it's kind of harder for me to navigate with styling my locks or doing my locks sometimes because I don't really know how to style locks well. So yeah, I do get bored and I do get over them sometimes, if that makes sense. How often do I bleach my hair? So I haven't bleached my hair since I've been locked. I haven't bleached my hair since I've been locked. Last time I had bleach in my hair was before I got my locks, and that was back in what, 2020? Yeah, I bleached my hair before I locked my hair up. I'll pop a picture on the side so you can see. But what I have done recently was, as y'all can see, my hair is not, see my hair is not like black or that bluish greenish color it was. It's like a more copper, gingery, brown color now. I came across this other product that I really like and it's the L'Oreal High Color Intense. I try to pop some pictures of that too. So basically with that, you add developer to the product that you buy and this is the color you get. And first time when I had done it, it didn't come out as vibrant as it is now because I have ran out of the actual product that I had. So recently I did it again and y'all, it came out great. It came out 10 out of 10. And as y'all can see, my roots have already just started, you know, growing in. Like, you can see the black. Because my roots and stuff 
was like that. I'll try to pop a picture in there for y'all to see that. But yeah, I haven't bleached my hair now with color on the other hand, like dyeing my hair. I'm no stranger to that. I have dyed my hair like then I got tired of the blonde. And I think I end up going to, I had half of it brown, half of it blue. Then I got tired of that. Then I went to black. And then once that kind of like faded, because it seemed like once the black faded, it kind of went back to like that greenish color. So then I mixed around and did like the blue black. And then here we are. Here we are. And I'm loving this. I feel like this is a good new look for the summer. Then also entering into fall. I feel like this is it. And I love this. I love how it complements my skin tone. I really like it. What y'all think? Y'all like it for me? <laughs> okay, so the next question is, do I regret locking my hair? A absolutely not. I do not regret locking my hair, but like I said, I do get times where I be over them, but I do not I do not regret locking my hair. I feel like this is one of the best decisions that I ever made for myself. I can retain length. Like, my hair, I always had long hair, but sometimes I feel like with my loose natural hair or my relaxed hair, my hair was at a standstill. And I honestly can say that I feel like with my locks, I will actually be able to see like my growth. Um, it's very convenient. It's low maintenance. I'm not, when I say low maintenance, I don't mean like there are times where I just don't do nothing. Well, there are some times where I can get lazy, but not doing nothing with my hair. But you still got to maintain your locks because you don't want them to get brittle, break off, thin out. I do not regret locking my hair. I don't. And I'm actually shocked that I did because it was a point of time where I had got quit. Um, people asking me, would you ever lock your hair? I'm like, no. As if, no. Like, uh -uh, I have my face bought up like disgust. Like, locks was filthy. But locks have gotten so popular over the years. And I love the fact that women, a lot of women now are embracing the locks embracing their lock journey so the next question is are my locks fully locked <laughs> i don't think so and i wish i could show y'all but my ends i started my locks off with two strand twists so i feel like from we're well, not where like my new growth fit but like where my new growth ends it from probably like the middle of the shaft it's locked but like at the ends they're still kind of spongy so that's why I say that my locks are not fully locked. I still feel like my ends have to intertwine, mingle up, whatever they got to do. But overall, it's locked, but it's not fully locked. So the next question is, do I retwist and style my own locks? I think I kind of answered this earlier too. Yes, I retwist my locks. Yes, I style my locks. I don't know how to style locks good but I have my go-to styles like this is one of my go-to styles not necessarily with the half up and half down but my one of my go-to styles is a lock bob I will do a lock bob just like that since I learned how to do that and I used to do just two strand twists I used to do that all the time but other than that that's like my only like go-to lock styles I will do like a slip back ponytail um I would do like half up half down but like actually like styling doing the pedal pedal um lock pedals barrel twists or even adding like stitches over my locks or i don't i don't be doing all that i don't know how to do all that but i just keep it simple and cute i do need to kind of expand and try to learn how to do different styles but i'm kind of lazy when it comes to my hair now so i know that's a personal problem but i do what works for me so the next question is have you ever gotten any bad looks or have anyone ever said anything bad about your locks? Hmm. No, I really haven't gotten any negative vibes from people. Nobody has ever really said anything about my locks. Not to my face. If they, if, if they have, it was behind my back or to somebody else. But saying to me personally, no. It is somebody that has said something. He always says something. If you know, you know who I'm talking about. I'm sorry for my camera shaking because I'm on the bed. But you know who I'm talking about. My grandfather. My grandfather always come up for me. I don't care if it's my makeup, my clothes, and when it comes to my hair. That man, that grandfather of mine, 
he gonna have something to say so mind y'all before i had this brown color y'all know my it was black and like this bluish green color what did he say my hair look like y'all he said he said my hair look like mold <laughs> that man said my hair look like mold really granddad like one thing about them old folks older people they gonna speak their mind and my granddaddy is one of those people who gonna always speak his mind when it comes to his grandkids or just anything in general i know this a little bit off topic y'all i remember i had did my makeup one time y'all and i had like my it was like a real dramatic smoky look y'all so he i posted a picture he commented up there he talking about some what have my beautiful granddaughter done to herself I don't know what he said something else after that but you know how facebook he is like really you could have messaged me or you could have texted me or you could have called me he got up there for everybody to see the comment but it's to the point now where i just don't i'm spitting it's to the point now where i really don't take offense to what my granddaddy says when it comes to my look or how i present myself when i'm in his presence because it's like y'all you it's really kind of stuck into the old school way of doing things and the old school looks or aesthetics and stuff which don't get me wrong i like old school vibes too but i'm also hip to new things new looks like it's newness now like we don't stay stuck in one type of trend so i know i went on a tangent but yeah y'all he, he was coming for my neck honey he was coming for me but no i really haven't had anybody to say anything bad to me to be honest um i do get that look um what made you lock your hair or i get that what made you lock your hair not like nobody actually like you know saying anything bad but i do feel the tension behind what made you lock your hair like like they didn't agree with my decision and that's okay that's their opinion but it was my decision and I did, and I have gotten sometimes, um, you gonna lock that pretty hair up your, you gonna lock that pretty hair of yours up, or your hair too good for that, or something like that. So, I have gotten those type of things and responses sometimes, but that's about it. But, at the end of the day, I didn't do it for y'all, I did it for me. <laughs> did it for me. So the last question that I have for you guys is, who inspired me to get locks? Who inspired your girl to get her hair locked up? And who holds that beautiful place in my heart? Who holds that crown? Who holds that title is my beautiful daughter inspired me to lock my hair up. I locked her hair up one year and I was right behind her the next year. I saw how her locks was transforming and I saw how it was convenient for the both of us. And I was just like, okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna try this out. I also had family and friends who have locked their hair up before and it still is locked and still was locked at that current time. And I also was intrigued of their lock journey. And y'all, can y'all believe me and my two other best friends locked our hair up around the same time i think one of my best friends locked her hair up first then me then my other best friend and then i was like okay so we some lock sisters i have a lot of lock sisters and then y'all hold on my daughter is locked okay i'm sorry i'm going on a little tangent my two best friends are locked one of my other good good friends candida that be on the channel sometimes she is locked um, my cousin Ashley, she's been on my channel before. She is locked. Um, my brother locked his hair up last year. Um, my, one of my younger sisters, well, two of my younger sisters, they are locked. Um, my brother, my other bro, oh my God, both of my brothers are locked. One of my other brothers are locked. Um, Three of my guy cousins is locked. Like, we all just locked over here. So, yeah, we locked. We locked gang, okay? We like this. We locked in. We locked in, y'all. We locked in for real. 
I'm glad I made a decision. I'm glad I saw it through. And I'm just interested to see where my lot journey takes me. Who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my hair now. I do apologize that y'all can't see the length now, but I am popping a video in here for you to see the length of when I um, do my lock count and roll my scalp. But this is my hair now. We bobbing and weaving. We bobbing and weaving. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on anything that I have said or done this video, please feel free to comment. Also, please don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get alerts when your girl posts a new video. Because what? Because what? Because how y'all going to see me? And I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye.